Hello and welcome. Anybody that's ever watched golf, whether it be on your phone or on TV, knows what it's like to have the world's marketing geniuses bore holes into your face and into your head and then embed things in your brain. This club is revolutionary. It's going to change the game. And you're just like, oh, it's going to change the game. But does it really? Because like in the early 90s, they were saying that about this. It's a game changer. It's revolutionary. And now, in 2018, 100% of the PGA Tour pros don't game this club. Was it revolutionary? I'm not saying it's a bad club, but a spatula on a stick, really? So we get to the Callaway ERC Fusion. Carbon fiber, titanium. Is it revolutionary? Released in 2004. Did this influence the game of golf at all? Huh, that's interesting. ERC Fusion, 10 degree. I think we need to have a closer look. ERC Fusion. Irk. I'm irked, Professor. This is not how you spell irk. Google will slap you in the face. Just be like, no, it's spelled I-R-C-K-C-Y. I have no idea how to spell irk. It's not this, though. This stands for Eli R. Calloway Fusion. 10 degree. And there's an aluminum little chevron insert right here, which I think adds a lot. I actually had to glue this one back into place. And when I was playing with it, it felt an awful lot like aluminum. You can see all the wear and tear on this particular club. It's just a well-used club, as they should be. I like seeing this, because I like seeing clubs that are used. They're not museum pieces, folks. They're golf clubs. So, real quick, there's so many fun details we could discuss about the shape of the cup face, titanium, the carbon fiber crown, and the aft portion here, Callaway Golf painted on the back, serial number right here on the heel. Let's see if that'll focus for us. Not sure if that will. Either way, there is a serial number right here. And then there's this lovely fluted ferrule. So as we spin this around, you can see the top line right here. This two-toned top line is so beautiful. I can understand why TaylorMade mimics this with their drivers and why it's so well received because you have this nice framing of the golf ball. And to me, nothing is more beautiful than that carbon fiber on the back here. The toe was pretty plain. You can see just rotating around here. It's just a continuation of the cup face. And then the face itself, which is, you know, th they've been doing this face for more than a decade at this point. So pretty standard, lovely driver face, what we would expect. 360 cc. Today, our drivers are 460 cc. Most of them, that's the limit, the volume limit set around the world by golf associations. This is 360 cc. So a little smaller, but for me, this is still a driver that I feel very confident hitting. When I see a golf ball sitting here, lots of confidence that I can really just unload and clobber that golf ball. So moving up, um, the cues of the fluted ferrule lead us up this graphite shaft. Callaway branded here. So we have the RCH System 55 Firm Flex. These swing weights were uh, D2, D3, designed by Callaway Golf. The ERC kind of a velvet Callaway grip, the original grip right here. So I could sit and look at this all day, all the little details, the subtle curves, it's just beautiful, but we really need to take it out on the range and see how it does. Did you hear that? It makes me excited just listening to it. All right, so we need to settle down here. In conclusion, is this the most beautiful club on the planet? And the other question is, can we expel all of these like marketing like implants in our face about revolutionary? Yo, oh, this club is revolutionary. Can we expel that like countermeasures? Like in a submarine, right? You launch the countermeasures or in a military aircraft, just countermeasures. Just get that stuff out of your head. 
Is it true? Is this revolutionary? Okay, well, let's explore that. There are three things that have stuck with this club. For starters, the looks. Okay, you get this really austere, simple top line right here, followed by this kind of busy carbon fiber look back here. The contrast, hmm, that stuck for sure. The sound, we talked about the sound. I love the sound. That stuck as well. This is kind of the sound you expect from a lot of modern drivers. Okay, I get it. And finally, the materials. We still use carbon fiber. They still use titanium. The mix, it works. And it's a proven thing now. So the hollow metal woods, yes. All right, so this, this did kind of set the bar. This is kind of the standard for materials, for sound, for a lot of people. And for me, the looks, okay? Now, is it the most beautiful club on the planet? Yes, yes, yes it is. Absolutely. It's really hard for me to say that. When I was going like this, I was like, no, but yes. This to me is a pleasure to look at. It's just, it makes me just drip confidence. I look at this and I'm like, ooh, yes, I can hit this a mile and I can hit it straight. Uh, it's, to me, I can't think of it. When I think of beautiful driver, this is one of the first images that comes into my mind as one of the most beautiful drivers. Everything, the black, the gray, the gold Chevron right here. Is that a Chevron? People are gonna correct me and say that's a, the sound of a golf ball being hit or something like the Nike swoosh. I have no idea. Callaway golf right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely on my list of the most, the top 10 most beautiful drivers ever made on the history of the planet, if not number one. So Callaway ERC, let me know your thoughts. ERC Fusion. Don't I think I have to say anything else. It's amazing. If you want to support the channel, please visit that Amazon shop in the description. I make some proceeds from that shop and I can use all the proceeds I can get to keep this channel alive. And you can subscribe. Click that bell icon if you want notifications of when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Vintage Golfer.